am jumping on the bandwagon and doing a what I spent in a whole month as a stay-at-home mom. And just because I'm a stay-at-home mom does not mean I'm not a working stay-at-home mom. I do have a little bit of an income, so I am going to be going over exactly what I spent this month. What about my handy dandy? So pretty much for the month of February, we did a low spend, no spend month, which I'm extremely excited about and happy about. Uh, I can't believe we did it. Uh, this is like the first time ever. And so with that, I'm just going to give us those little pat on the back, round of applause. But yeah, the only thing that we spent money on is we both got our hair done. And uh, you kind of can't tell right now because, you know, it's a little, a little on the messy side. And I got a, I got a hat on because um, I let it air dry and I haven't brushed it. So we're just, we're gonna keep going. Uh, and Dee got his hair cut, uh, but those are not usually monthly expenses that we account for. That's not something that we get done all the time. And we actually sold some stuff to pay for most of it in cash. Everything else we either saved, gave, put towards debt, or used towards bills and like daily living. So with that being said, let's get in here to my budget. Okay. So for our bills and expenses, I'm not going to completely individualize them just because I do believe in a little bit of privacy when it comes to finances, but in total, I budget about $2,200 for bills each month. This is going to include our mortgage, electricity, water, truck payment, what else is there, um, YouTube TV, Netflix, like subscriptions, uh, uh, car insurance, did I say phone bill? I think I said phone bill, um, internet, and just different things like that. I got a Etsy notification. Um, and so that is our monthly expenses. Pretty much what it's going to take to keep the roof over the head. Aside from internet, YouTube TV, and Netflix. Those are kind of some subscriptions. But for the most part, it's about $2,200 that we have to budget for bills. Now, moving along from that, I'm going to pull up my app here where I have got absolutely everything sorted out in little categories on how much we spent. So our next house category, aside from our, you know, bills and stuff, was our debt payments. So we put $1,311 towards debt this month. Um, we have about $375 that is a minimum. And so we ended up putting about $1,000 extra towards debt this month, which I'm extremely excited about. Hopefully, if we keep going the way that we are, we will get rid of all of it by May or June. So we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm tired of living like this. Okay, so I'm editing this, and today is March the 23rd, and actually we only have a little bit more debt left, and so it'll be paid off next month, so April, like pretty quick in April, so and then it'll be gone. It'll be gone, so we'll only have the house and the car, yes, the house and the truck left, so I mean, I consider that debt, you know, I definitely consider the truck debt, but... um it's not credit card debt. <laughs> Our next house category was giving. We ended up giving $815. And then we saved $608. We're doing that little saving challenge where you do like each week, you pick out two numbers, either one through 100. And by the end of the year, you should have a little over $5,000. But we are doubling it. So whatever we draw in a week, we're putting extra, like double that amount aside. And so this month it ended up being $608 that we put back. Now we did give ourselves $400 for spending money, but neither one of us spent it. We both saved both of our little, little income there. So that was extremely exciting. That's why I said this is kind of like a no spend, low spend month. Um, we did spend $78 on our hair. So um, I was able to pay a lot of mine in cash. We spent $53 on dog food. Usually it's 80, but we had a coupon. So I got one of the bags for $13 instead of 40. So that was that was nice. Food, I budgeted $300 this month for food and we ended up spending $315, so I went $15 over, but you know, it's much better than these previous months. You know, we're getting a hang on these things, we're getting a hang of it, okay? And it just excited me to no end to know that we were able to stick to that budget um, for the most part. And I mean, I really wish we could have gotten under it. I think I could have gone under it, um, but we didn't eat out all of February. We did not go to a restaurant. Uh, we did not spend any money on food other than that $315 for cooking. Um, and I cooked every single day. I had dinner ready every single night for 28 days 
And actually it was a little bit more than that because we started this January 28th. So there was a couple of days in January that we also didn't spend any money. Then we spent $183 on gas. I was extremely excited about this too. D took my car a couple of days to work. So that cut out on a little bit of the gas prices there um, instead of his truck. And uh, our budget was $200. So we were under, which kind of made up for the grocery budget, but that's okay. And then we had our random category of expenses that kind of, you know, this is our first month as far as like totaling everything up as it goes. So there were a couple subscriptions that came out that we did not know that we were subscribed to. So we have canceled those and those will not be coming out next month. But that pretty much is about $75 that we could have, you know, done something else with. Um, but $75, you know, gone down the drain to a subscription that we didn't even know that we had. So there we go. And I did end up spending about $16 in miscellaneous. That ended up being laundry detergent and uh, sippy cups for Stella. She did not have any sippy cups at all and she's going into the nursery at church now. So she had to have something and so I got her one with a straw and one like that she can just turn up. But aside from that, I did not spend anything. Dee did not spend anything. We did not buy anything. We did not go anywhere. Uh, we went on walks and pretty much stayed at the house for the most part. Um, we had a couple of days of bad weather, so, you know, that kind of made up for it. We had a couple of days of great weather that we went on walks, and we had a couple of days of snow that we got to play outside in the snow. It was wild. It was a wild month. Um, and then my friend's birthday was actually uh, yesterday, the 28th, the last day of the month, and I wanted to get her something, but I was like, you know, I'm, I'm making this a no-spin month. So, I know she liked peeps, like the little Easter things, you know, and so I fit that into my grocery budget <laughs> and gave that to her, and then Dee actually made her a little charger. I sell these, go buy one, um, but he wanted to make her something, so handmade gifts are the way to go. For people if you don't you know have any money to spend we have successfully completed a month of pretty much no spend i did i did get we did get our hair done so i can't really say it was a no spend month um and i bought her the sippy cups but aside from that you know I, i'm pretty pretty satisfied with it you know i did try to sell some stuff so all that didn't come out um for the hair budget and then i already had it scheduled since december um and it you know it really didn't make any sense to push it out another month when I was just going to spend that money that I'd saved in February anyways on it. So that's why I went ahead and did it. And Dave's looking a little shaggy. He had to get his cut. Okay. He just had to get a cut. So anyways, I don't know. Let me see what that grand total was. I don't even know. Let's see. Something along the lines of, let's see, 2200 plus 815 plus 608. Yes, I've memorized this because I have gone over it every single day. I have tallied every single thing that we have spent, like every single day. So... Um, let's see, 2200 plus $6,054 was our grand total. So how does that even make sense? That doesn't even add up with what our income was, though. I'm kind of confused right now. So that's what I spent this month as a stay-at-home mom. Um, pretty much just paid bills, got groceries, got a little bit of gas, and bought some sippy cups and got my hair done. So there we go. And we're in Alabama. We're in Alabama. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you to give me a big old like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day, and God bless. Oh, didn't, didn't hit you. Probably would. Went the other way.